Good afternoon. This is a uh, update on the new second generation biocell. After the experiment last night, I uh, discharged the, uh, the cell a number of times and let it recharge. And what I noticed uh, was a power curve that, that looks something like this. The, the cell wants to drop down and hold a voltage and then it'll drop down and hold again. And it looks like that's related to our phosphate ions we have down here. Because they're the dominant ion in the cell and they're each active, more active in a uh, particular uh, pH in the cell. So um, what the difference between each one of these ions is an oxygen. Every time uh, the ion, ion uh, wants to, to switch state or the pH changes, we lose an oxygen from here and then we lose an oxygen from here and then we lose another oxygen here and then we lose another oxygen until we're down to here and then obviously if we lost that one we'd be down to phosphate so uh, the, the oxygen is getting shuttled around inside the cell it looks like and then our, our hydrogen and, and hydroxy ions from the splitting the water I think are just intermediates to shuffle this, this oxygen around and uh, then on this car on this uh, copper oxide we've got in there we know it'll work without that if there's enough oxygen coming in from the atmosphere to, to do that because if you got some uh, free oxygen inside the, uh, the water inside the cell that's going to facilitate moving these uh, oxygens uh, around between the ions or to make them active uh, so that's what I think is going on uh, this the copper oxide in nature, maybe that's those are there for under anaerobic conditions. Because if there's not enough oxygen uh, in in uh, the atmosphere in the soup that's going on, then it, the uh, the acids can pull an oxygen from the oxides over here and put it in it. But I'm just speculating on that. But uh, so that looks like how how the cell is working to me. And uh, what I decided to do is uh, also is I've got an ultrasound here, and I've chucked some of our uh, battery ingredients in here, the oil side and the, and the water side, and uh, I'm going to ultrasound it and uh, make some uh, micro bio cells <laughs> and see uh, see what happens, how they perform, uh, you know, because it's going to be a lot of little charged. Uh, miniature uh, cells in there, little mycelae and liposomes or whatever forms, maybe even a bilayer sheet, we don't know. So anyway, I'm going to do that and uh, and then uh, do some measurements on it because uh, those all those little cells should, being charged surfaces in there, they should arrange themselves in some manner. You know, are they going to be in parallel or series or both or uh, randomly? I don't know. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to uh, do some experiments with that too. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.